Pardon? Or those are the things that I want to see say. Those are the things that make Broadwater County special. So, you know, I, I think that people have an obligation and a duty. This is a citizen government. Uh, we don't have professional politicians. Ordinary people need to step up and be willing to put their self on the line uh, to serve their community. And, you know, so it's in that vein, and for that reason, that uh, uh, I'm looking for the intern or the, uh, and also running for the, the commission. I know we got a lot of great men up here. Uh, I have a total constant confidence and faith in them, so I know the commissioners have a tough decision to make. Uh, one of the questions I ask them today is, can you make that decision? Because I think it's important for the county. Uh, you got great candidates. Uh, I urge you to pick one of them. So thank you. I first came out here in 1997 to go through a very rigorous process to get qualified as uh, a national ethics instructor. At that time, I owned my farm. The farm was paid for back east. Uh, I had a whole retirement plan in place to, once I retired, then spend my full time on the farm, raise my cattle, make my hay, or raise my grain crops, have a really good time. And something happened. Something happened. I started traveling around the area after I went through that certification program. And you folks got me. I'm here because of you. I came back the year after that for a vacation and got to know some of the folks in the area. Came back the year after that, etc. Finally, in 2001, I bought some property and started looking at building a house and moving here. Why would I give up all the stuff that I had back east? It's for you folks. It, it's what you are. It's the kind of people you are. It's the kind of lifestyle that we have here in the county that I want to see continue. I see that frequently in my work with the Red Cross. Whenever we have a disaster, it's unbelievable how the folks here in this county will, will reach out and help folks they've never seen before and may never see again. If somebody has a problem here in Broadwater County, you and me, are willing to reach out and help those folks. It doesn't have to be back east. This is a whole different environment. I want to see it stay that way. And to have things stay the way they are now, you need an effective government. And that's why I'm up here, why I want to get into the position, fulfill the job, be a county commissioner, do the best job that I can, take all the skills that I developed way back when, that I still practice now, and use them to move the county forward, to get the job done that needs to be done here in Broadwater County. Thank you for your support. I think one of the main reasons uh, I'm here tonight um, is community. Uh, my wife and I, well, my wife lost her mother several years ago uh, in a tragic car accident. I came from Michigan, from the Detroit area, and um, I've never seen a community wrap their arms around uh, my wife and her family the way that this community did. Uh, we have had two children here in this, in this county. Uh, my soon to be 10 year old, soon to be three year old. Uh, we brought our 14 year old with us to Montana. You know, this community grows on you. I'm a city boy. I'm not gonna lie about it. I like the city. Uh, I grew up in the city. I like the city. Uh, but I've never seen a community like Broadwater County. So the reason why I'm here is because I, I poured my time and energy into your youth. For 13 years, I poured my time and energy into your youth. I know that I can pour my time and energy into our whole county. And that's one thing that I, I can hang my hat proudly. And I've put every ounce of energy I have into making this community a better place for our youth. I know that 
if elected or if appointed, that that same ambition, desire, drive will go into uh, running, help running, help communicating, help talking to, do whatever it is uh, is required by the commission board. Uh, I just have a desire to serve. I served for 13 years very proudly on our law enforcement. I'll serve, I still serve, I volunteer coach, I volunteer in a lot of different aspects in this community. So I, I still have a desire to serve this community. So why am I here? Is to serve you. I'd like to thank you for coming as well and sitting on the hard benches like we are. Broadwater County is a wonderful place. Both Barb and I love it here. When we interview at the hospital, we often tell people from outside that this place is paradise, and I believe that. Yet there's two things that really bother me about Broadwater County and Thompson. The first one is there's a small set of people who want to tear this place down. They want to be negative. They want to write bad things. They put up things on gas pumps bad about the town. They write emails that slander people and say bad things about them. And yet when you call them and they want to talk to them face to face with the facts, they disappear. I would like to do what we can to fix that. The second thing, oh, before I move on, and Bobby, this is for you, thank you. Bobby prints a newspaper. In it, there's an opinion page. If you think opinions are facts, you might want to go look up what the definition of opinion is. Thank you for putting a newspaper, not an opinion paper. The second thing that bothers me, and you asked why I wanted to be a commissioner, is I work all around the state, I get asked, what's wrong with Broadwater County? It's no secret that we have a dysfunctional government. I would encourage any of you to go to a commissioner meeting and actually see firsthand what goes on. The courthouse is full of hardworking, respectable people, and there's no reason we can't pull together and make it functional. There's a lot of good candidates sitting up here tonight, and I've heard a lot of, a lot of them that, that I would support as well. And for the commissioners, I hope you find a way to agree. Pick the top three. Each of you scratch one off. Who's ever left will be the person. But don't leave District 2 or the whole county underrepresented without that third commissioner. If I'm selected, I'll be focused on making this the wonderful place that it is. Thank you. <coughs> I'm very open-minded. When I go to the grocery store to get milk, it takes me about an hour because I talk to so many people in the store. Uh, so if I was in general commission, I'd probably take a couple hours before I got home. So I'd have to <laughs> pick my hours later in the day or early in the morning to go. But I'd like to step up and do the intern job and get the commissioner's degree. That should be our main problem. We should be dealing on problems throughout the community, like with the hospital, the schools, the subdivisions, and everything else. So hopefully that will change. Thank you. I guess I have to pretty much echo everything everybody said up here. Like Larry, I was born and raised here, and I've lived here a good majority of my life, if not all. Uh, and the one thing that I would say, like Billy says, is the amount of people that I have run into that have said, you know, they're not going to pick anybody, they're going to leave it open until after the election. Uh, picking a replacement for this position is part of your job. If you can't agree, then pick somebody that either one of you like. But it's your job, your pay to do it, you need to get it done. And that's basically it. That, that's why these people are here. That's why everybody that sits up at this table has invested their time in going through this process. And that you need to get the job done. If both of you hate somebody, then pick that person. But 
but get a representative in there so that we can continue on business the way it's supposed to be taken care of. Howdy. Uh, well, I'm going to just read this. It's a little easier for me. I'm happy and grateful for the last 40 years that we have lived and raised our children here. This has invoked in me a strong desire to give back to our community by serving it, to maintain and protect our way of life while yet keeping a watchful eye on the future. I wrote that because that's exactly how I felt. And listening to the questions that we had tonight, some of the things that, thought, uh, that come to mind is that Bill, money was uh, mentioned, taxes, budgets, school obligations. And this, this all requires money from all of us. We all contribute to that. That's what makes us a community. But one of the things that I'd like to talk about that's kind of key to me, because we talk about all that, but it's not growth where I'd like to bring a lot of people in. That's not true. But what I would like to see is economic growth for all of us. Not just, not just a few, but the people that have to share and pay our tax, their taxes as well as we do. And that's where real economic growth comes into it. And so, and like so many of you out here that I know, I have four boys that went to school here, and I'm happy to say they're doing well, but they're all out of state, out of necessity. Uh, it would be good to have a well-paying job that, that it wouldn't require every, both members of the family to work to, to keep their house. When one person loses or gets sick, they, they run that risk. I would like to see economic growth, and there's a distinct difference that I want to point out there because it's not like I want to flood the people, <laughs> flood the down with people, but I would like to see that. And as and the skills that I have developed that I'm more attuned to, I think I can help in that matter. Um, and, and I really am looking forward to looking to working with our county commissioner, excuse me, county commissioners of so selected. And since I'm the last one, I guess I I've listened to a lot of good stuff. I I, I like what I heard. Thank you. What is the primary election narrow the field for going into the general election? What is it going to do? Yes. I have no idea. Yes, it narrows it to two. The top two go on. Well, I guess uh, <clears throat> that's all we had on the agenda for this evening. And uh, thank you, uh, Laura and Franklin, for uh, putting this together. And looks like uh, we all got some uh, choices to make. Pretty good crew up here. Thank you.
So they're going to put the put it in the shed. And I said, "Well, that's a good plan." <laughs> Very solid. Don, then she said that that meeting is going to be at ten o'clock tomorrow. Where? Uh, okay, the you know, man, the mission. The old I got to do. This is great. Great.